Hello to my YouTube family. Welcome back to the shop here tutorial. I'm your host Faisal Mahmood from Faisal Codex YouTube channel. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you guys can add comeback reminder to your website so that you can uh, reconvert your switching tabs users. So let me show you how it works and then we will integrate the app. So I'm switching the tabs and you will see there is a message on that website you forget something here, wait a sec. So it's calling the customer come back to there and uh, make your purchase where you left it. So that's a very efficient tool to enhance the uh, conversion of your store. It can also uh, restore your customers who have abandoned the uh, cart and it can help them to recover. So let's install this app. I'm going to the apps and I'm, I will search here. I have already installed this. Let me remove it. So I'm just going to uninstall. Uninstall. So app has uninstalled successfully. Now I will click on Shopify App Store. And then I will right here, come back reminder. And I will hit enter. So here we can see uh, there are many apps for this purpose, but this is a free one. And I have already configured that app on different stores. So I will just click on it. And let's read the features of this app. So the biggest feature of this app is recover distracted customer. Like if customer is switching between tabs, so it may it means customer has distracted. So now we need to bring that customer back, which has distracted. So this app help your customer to come back to your site. And then definitely, if your customer is purchasing anything from your store, and then he started uh, switching between tabs. So customer has lost and your sales are also lost. So it will help you to recover lost traffic and sales. So that's the biggest feature of this app. So that's the biggest feature of this app. After that, uh, you can customize animation speed like this is the animation. Uh, you can adjust the speed and style. And then there are different predefined templates available in that app, which you can use so let's install this app and uh, go ahead. It's taking some time to install. I'll click on install. Okay, so app has installed successfully and I will simply click on turn off because when you install that app first time, it's turned off. So here you can see these are the predefined uh, templates which you can use as per your uh, requirement or any need. So here you can see we miss you. If you are offering any a special offer, if customer has abandoned, you can uh, put your special offer and then you can show the discount code in the uh, tab. So I will come here and here you can see I am I'm selecting the blinking text and it's showing me two messages, message one, message two. So if I'm clicking on no animation, it will show no animation, the static text. If I will click on scroll text, that text will be scrolling. If I will click on type text, so it will type the text like typewriter. So I will be using blinking text and this is a message I want. I have already written that message. So that's why it's predefined uh, or it's showing like pre-select. But I, I wrote that message uh, previously. Uh, as you know, I just uninstalled the app. So that's why it's showing me already. So blinking delay is one second. You can adjust the time frame as per your need. But uh, two second and one second, like if someone has left your store, so I would recommend like you can uh, show the message immediately, like after one second. 
and then when you click on save changes you can change the icon as per your need okay moreover you can click on save changes enable compact reminder so it has enabled successfully i have just installed a empty store or oh, sorry em empty template uh, so that site can load faster and we can test it store has loaded successfully now i will switch between tabs to make sure it's working or not now you can see it's working perfectly hey we said you forgot something hey we said you forgot something so this blinking text can get attraction and customer can get back to the store and then start purchasing the things or start uh, going ahead where he left let's suppose customer left that procedure he will click on checkout and then he start uh, making the payment so that's really super fantastic tool uh, which can help you uh, to recover your abandoned checkouts abandoned card and uh, it can also bring back your visitors uh, after switching the tabs so i hope you guys will you guys will love that tutorial and if you guys are having any queries you guys can definitely comment me in comment box and i hope uh, you guys will be keep waiting for the upcoming tutorials Moreover, if you guys are looking for Shopify development services, Shopify store fixes, or any type of website development services, you guys can definitely ping me and I will try my best to help you out in that case. Have a good day. Thank you. Bye-bye.